My method is、um, a combination of things that I've learned and processes that I find work for me and that I believe in. So, this is this way. It's not by any means the only way, but this is my way. So, the foundation is、uh, Meisner based. The principles of Meisner I believe in.、Um, to,、uh, I think, the importance of getting the actor out of the head and not being self conscious and to listen. So, I don't see a, a better way of doing that than starting with the repetition.、Um, and I do it every class.、Um, I think it's a good warm up. It's a great way of taking the attention off yourself, put it on the other person. You can always improve on it. It's, it's never, you never catch every moment. So, Meisner has given me a, a foundation、um, situations to get the actor、um, being able to do more than one thing at the same time. I think the relationship exercises are great, the fantasy exercises are great, the Spoon Rivers I learned a lot about,、uh, interpreting scripts. Uh, working on monologues is great. The way Meisner breaks down scripts into beats,、um, taking out the stage directions, the punctuation, the capitals, learning our lines by rote, I think is great.、Um, the one action exercises, we sneak in and grab something and get out, and you speak from that relationship. If you wake up, the alone exercises, where does the impulse to speak? Come from how character is, how you do what you do, I think is great. But then I think、um, Strasberg picks up for me some of the slack there. Where I think Meisner is really great is dealing with what does exist, the relationship, what do I want, what happens if I don't get it. Where Strasberg, I think, brings、uh, some good tools is when we do start working on character work. The animal exercises, the picture exercise, to find a picture and then become that picture. And then Stella Radler's all about doing the history of the character. So are the others. I know she puts a lot of emphasis on that and then interviewing them. And then, you know, I take it further. I have them do it the first time they pick and it's a real person, either someone famous or not. If it's someone famous, they would do the research on it. And if it's someone famous to help narrow down the, the choices, I tell them to look at the horoscope of that person. I mean, there's a million choices that you can make, but I know I am a poster boy for Pisces. So I think that can help me get closer to who that person is.、Um, if you're picking some anonymous person from some great picture book, then that's so valuable to have to create the character. So, if, we, if they're with me long enough, they'll do it both those ways. And if they're with me even longer, then they can take their famous, famous painting and interpret that and bring that to life. I do the five part place exercise and the relaxation exercise. Those were the Strasbourg exercises that I found a lot of value for myself in. As an actor, I want to get as close to the situation as I can without hurting myself or hurting someone else. I always want to make the strongest choice possible. I want to feel things deeply. And if the scene calls for something that parallels an event in my life, I'm going to draw from that and expose my students to that way of working so they know how to do it. If they choose to do it, they, they have that tool in their, their toolkit. If they don't, they never have to use it. I.、Uh, Teach exercises that help show the strength of their imagination. And I've been able to get the students somewhere so quick, so honestly, so truthfully, that many times they didn't even know they can get there. They didn't know they'd never been that emotional in front of anybody before. And that helps with, again, back with that interview and getting to know a little bit of something about that person, get a sense. Of their essence and being able to cater a particular exercise to a particular student's needs.、Um, I don't teach with a broad brush because I know everyone learns differently. So, within the same class, you might see someone doing a very beginning exercise, someone doing a more advanced exercise. And the person 
doing the more advanced exercise, sometimes that beginning exercise humbles them and reminds them of the essence of the work. And for the person who's just doing repetition and says, what's this got to do with acting? Well, you get to see where the work takes you. And over the years I've developed, uh, I've come up with some of my own exercises. Um, Six-year-old me, the um, elevator exercise, the eulogy, um, the letter, and some others that... um, What's what's really cool about it is... Um, for a lot of actors, sometimes the stress comes from, will I be able to produce? Will I be able to get there? Will I be emotional enough? Well, through these exercises, they're gaining confidence, and I'm able to give them the suggestion that allows them to find it within them. Um, The emphasis that when we first read a script, that you are the character. To not talk about the character like it's someone outside yourself. From the moment you pick up the script and you're reading it, I want them to talk about it in the first person, to start to bridge that gap immediately and see and take on those circumstances. Imagine them in their own life. To be able to um, teach um, a belief that I have that an actor can never say, I would never do this if they're taking on a certain role. I would never do this. Because then what I try to bring out of them is, yeah, you would. You just got to find under what conditions you would behave that way. It's in there. We all have it. 